It's 636 and it's only day two in the Detroit bankruptcy trial, but a ruling could come for one uh, big issue impacting thousands. Yes, the judge is being asked to stop the water shutoffs that are happening in the city of Detroit. Our Will Jones joins us now live. Will, a big decision. Uh, it could come as early as today. Good morning. Uh Good morning, Rhonda and Everett. A very big decision. That decision was supposed to come yesterday, but it did not come, so we're expecting it this morning. We really have not seen protesters take to the streets since the water shutoff moratorium ended. That's because they have taken their case to court, and Judge Rose will weigh in, or at least we think so, today. The water shutoff moratorium by the Detroit Water and Sewage Department ended last week. The department has resumed shutting off water for customers with delinquent accounts. Today, bankruptcy judge Stephen Rose is expected to decide whether that will continue. Critics of the department's policy requested a temporary restraining order against additional shutoffs of customers with unpaid bills, arguing in court Tuesday that people need water to live, to survive, to thrive, and that the shutoffs endanger low-income families. They're seeking a restraining order until the city has a more comprehensive plan for helping the poorest Detroiters pay their water bills. The water department's attorney told Rose Tuesday the restraining order would prevent DWSD from functioning properly. The water department's attorney also says uh, that he does not believe that the judge really has the legal authority to issue a decision on that restraining order to stop the water shutoffs. But we're just going to have to wait and see if the judge makes his decision later today. Again, that's expected today. It was supposed to happen yesterday. We're live this morning in front of the federal courthouse. Will Jones, Local 4 News, today.